Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this video. I'm so excited to show you a new liner technique that I'm experimenting with and it is that uh, double winged liner look. So basically, uh, you know, you go about your shadow the typical way, but you just do your liner a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm sure there's lots of different techniques, but I'm also going to be using um, mainly eye products from this kit from Bourgeois Paris. So it's um, kind of the perfect products to create this oops, excuse me, to create this look. Um, there's a really pretty light purple cream um, uh, shadow product that we're going to use, but the the look is Pretty in Paris Volume 1. You can find this on beautyticket.com, and of course all the products are out of here right now, but it's like a little book, and it, it has the, um, you, it comes with the shadow that I used here, which is a pretty kind of black shadow. Um, the cream shadow and the lilac shade. You also get um, a purple liquid liner, a mascara that you'll hear more about as the video goes on, as well as a couple of brushes here that are coming in very handy for me right now. So one is sort of a smudge brush and one is a definite liner brush. So um, I'm just going to walk you through basically how I use the products to create this look. So I hope you enjoy it and keep on First watching. thing I did was applied my Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my lid and up through my crease area. And then I'm going to take a cream eyeshadow, the one that comes in this kit, and it's like a lilac uh, purpley kind of shade and I'm just going to squeeze some out of the tube here onto my finger just a little bit use um, somewhat of a flat brush to just help me spread that evenly on my lid so just take that shade and spread it all over your eyelid so at this point you should wind up with a pretty purple um, shimmery lid and it's it's just a nice light lilac shade and what's also neat about this is this is a waterproof cream shadow so you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding around um, next I'm going to take um, a single eye shadow and this is noir it's number four um, in the bourgeois eyeshadow and you can see it's kind of a shimmery black but it does seem to me like it has almost a little bit of a purplish undertone to it which is interesting and I like how these little singles have a nice mirror there in the palette as well and the kit also comes with like a small smudger brush and I'm just going to dip the tip of that in the shadow and take this basically right to our crease and really just concentrate on getting the dark color right there in your crease. I'm going in pretty much most of the way in there and then blending into my crease and sort of circling it up just a bit as well. Now once we come back and do our upper liner we're going to intensify uh, this uh, shadow a little bit but for now we're just going to leave it like that. We've sort of got a little bit of an outer V going. We've just uh, thickened sort of the darkness there on that side. And we're bringing it down onto our lid just a little bit as well. So just get a little bit of darkness going there. You can see on this uh, side the outer part of the lid isn't quite as bright and shimmery as the inner part. Now on our lower lash line we're actually going to use that same the same shade, only we're going to intensify it a little bit by sort of making that a liquid liner. So I'm going to take some of my MAC Fix Plus spray and I'm just going to spritz a little bit of that on the back of my hand here just to get a little moisture going. And I'm going to use that as sort of the, uh, you know, mixing medium, I guess you'd say, to moisten my brush. So you can see my hand's a little moist there. I'm going to dip this brush, which also comes in the kit, a nice little fine eyeliner brush, which would be great for your gel liners as well. Getting it in there, and then I'm going directly from there to the product. And you'll see the product gain a little intensity now as we use it as our lower liner. So I'm going to start on the end. I'm just going to stay right there, um, right in the lash line. I'm not going on the water line with this. And if you need to pick up more shadow to kind of even out the distribution, you know, if, you, if your brush is a little too wet, you might need to pick up more shadow. And this will just dry like um, a normal liquid liner would dry. So take that all the way in, right to the very inner corner, and you might want to thicken that line a little bit. 
Now once you've got your desired uh, intensity there on the lower lash line, I'd suggest taking that uh, smudger brush that we used in our crease as well and just kind of running under that and sort of uh, muddying that line just a little bit. Next we're going to line our upper lash line with this purple uh, liquid liner that comes in the kit. I believe the shade is Prune. And you can shake that up, but it comes with a little brush tip applicator, which is um, a really, I think, easy and smooth way to use a liquid liner. Um, so hopefully I'm not shadowing myself too much as I do this, but... Starting at the inner corner, as you can see, staying extremely close to the lashes. And then just pulling it out. And if you have trouble with liquid liner, I mean, just think about taking uh, short strokes. You don't have to make it all the way across your eye in one stroke. So I'm just kind of looking down into a mirror here, picking up where I left off with a little more product. Because I keep thinking, you know, that this is a black liner, and sometimes black liners go on in, in a more intense fashion all the way across. But with this purple, to make the color come off a little more strong, I'm sort of going back more frequently to uh, kind of reload my brush with the, with the color. So just take it slow. There's no rush. If you rush yourself, that's kind of where you run into problems. You know, it's so strange how that works because, you know, you're in a hurry. You're trying to get through your makeup as painlessly as possible, but then that's when you end up making the mistake. So this has a little bit of a metallic finish, by the way. And what we're going to do once we reach the outer edge of this is instead of following the curve of our eye as it would curve down, we're going to go straight out. So from right about here, you'll see that line going straight out from the eye. And then I'm going to get a little bit more and we're going to just connect that from the very outer corner here. This would be the outer corner. Draw it up and connect. And then just fill the gap. Now comes the fun part. We're doing a little different liner technique. On our lower lash line, we're actually going to create another wing that's going to go parallel to the top one. So you can see over here how the lines have an even amount of space. They're not, instead of being out like this, sort of like one of those greater than, less than signs, it's more like an equal sign. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sure you guys love my math terminology there but anyway I'm um, just going to take the brush and I'm going to the outer corner here but I'm going down a little bit because you'll recall to make this upper um, outer V we went we used the outer corner so we're going a little bit below that and we're gonna draw a little line and we're gonna draw it straight out just like so you can see what's going on there it's just a line right under the wing so you want to stay perfectly in line with your wing. So if it's going out a little more up, then this one would want to go a little more up. If this one was even, for some reason, tilting down, you would want the, the lower one to tilt down. I mean, there's, of course, different ways. I mean, fun other ways you can do it, but just for this look, I'm trying to lead you down the right path here. So once you've got that line, that initial line, just maybe go over it a time or two with this, since, like I said, it is purple. It's not black, so to get the, and it is a little bit metallic, so to get the intensity you want, you may have to go over it just a touch like that. Now we have some finishing touches for this look, so I want you to grab the smudger brush or any smallish brush that you have and dip the tip of that, and when I say the tip, I mean go directly down on top of the product there, get a little bit of color on it, and we're going to go right under that uh, little wing and we're just going to smoke that out a little bit under the lower wing then on the upper lash line this is where i mentioned after we did that we're going to go back and provide just a little more depth based on how far our wing went out so go to the corner of the wing with a little more of that dark eyeshadow that's what i've been using this whole time just that one shade of shadow and of course the liquid shadow we first put on but just kind of intensify the, the darkness there in the outer corner. As you can see, we didn't do a huge outer V, we just made it a little bit darker, and there's one finishing touch you can do here with this liner that's going to make it even more of a contrast that you have two wings there, and that's to take a lighter shade. I'm using a light pink from Milani called Illusion. It actually has sort of a golden tone to it as well. Take any small detail brush, 
Um, this one that I have is from Coastal Scents, and I'm just going to go right in between my two lines there with that lighter shade. You could just, just use any light color you want, and you're going to create more of a division between them, and it's going to make them stand out more. And since this kit doesn't really come with much of a highlight shade, you can take that same color and just kind of go right up to the brow bone. Next I'm going to apply a couple of coats of the Volume Glamour Ultra Black Mascara that also comes in the kit and I'll join you with the finished look. Hey everyone, I'm back with the finished look. I applied a couple of coats of that mascara to my upper lashes and like one light coat to the bottom. And one tip I wanted to pass along in terms of um, the wings here, if you um, do just a short little stroke of like the liquid liner and you feel like you want it extended more, I would recommend taking an angled liner brush and just sort of putting your brush in some shadow of a similar shade and then you can kind of put it on there and sort of flick it outward. Um, I didn't really do that, just just kind of barely on that side to, to sort of even them out, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, like as I'm sitting back here further away from the camera, it's harder to detect uh, that liner, but if you really see somebody from the side, you can see it and it's kind of a cool touch. So um, you could do some false lashes with this look, but I kind of think sometimes false lashes can take away a little bit from the eyeliner if you did something special. So I sort of wanted to keep it as is. And on my lips, by the way, I'm wearing um, the Jordana Lip liner in Tawny. It's just a very neutral shade um, all over my lips. And then I'm using the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipstick in Sunset, which is a pretty, uh, you can see they're sort of neutral. It has a little bit of a metallic feel to it, and it has um, some definite gold, like little shimmer to it. So it really kind of warms up the face a little bit. And um, on my face, by the way, I use the Palladio um, Mosaic Powder. It's sort of a peachy shade. And I also did my Cover Girl Cheekers in Golden Pink as kind of a contour there. So hope you guys like the look. It's something a little different, but something you know you could totally do your own way if you wanted to make the wings a little different or not do the wing liner at all and just do the regular shadow part of the look. So thanks for tuning in and have a great day.